YouTube, what's up guys? Happy uh, Thursday, great day today, man. Woo, when I tell you, we are getting into the busy season. We are, man, guys, the phone, it's just that, it's just that, that fire starting for the busy season. The phone has just blown up today. Uh, I've, I've been, uh, clients have been booking uh, hardwood floor screen and recoats without even doing consultations. They'll send me pictures and I will just give them a ballpark figure price. I booked like three like that today. Uh, so actually, uh, I got two screen and recoats to do on Monday. So I told one lady she's moving in on Wednesday. And uh, the reason why I want to do this video, your best seller, okay, when you're in sales. Because remember, guys, even though we are service providers you are still a salesman so a, a lady found me on Google today um, she again went to my YouTube channel I always send clients my YouTube channel they never watch any of my videos and then she called me back and she said Courtney you just have such a great personality I just want to work with you <laughs> and, uh, and and she said I could just tell by your phone conversation, um, you're, you're up to beat watching your videos, you really enjoy what you do. And I told her, I said, I really do. I really enjoy what I do. So uh, she just um, uh, sent me her information for Monday. It's a small screen of Rico. And the guys, the one thing you need to understand as anybody who's in any sales, okay? Your birth, not your birth, <laughs> your best, your best sales, okay? Um, is your personality okay because I will say this you have to remember as people as human beings we pick up on each other's vibes okay yeah you ever, you ever been around somebody who said hey, I just got a bad feeling about that person okay or you've been around somebody like man this I just like this person this is why it's so important in especially when see guys especially when you're in the service industry and especially when you're going in people's homes and this is something I have always talked about and I've always uh, teached okay the worst thing you can do in a home service industry is make a woman feel uncomfortable in her own home man you guys I again I rarely deal with men I can't tell you how many husbands <laughs> that I met during COVID. Before, I would never see the husband. They would never be at home, okay? I would always deal with the wives. And um, when you make a woman, okay, the missus of the home, feel uncomfortable in her own home, guys, you might as well just cut that. It's done, okay? It's done. So the reason why I'm saying this is that, remember, it's not, yes, you want to do a good job. Yes, you want to perform the best services as possible. But your personality, okay, your attitude, how you treat people, how people feel about you when you leave. The, see, I got, you have to realize, people could put on a front when you're in the house. People, sometimes, I, I can't tell guys, service providers, how many people just can't wait for you to get out the house. They they just they will people will pay you just for you to leave okay just so they don't have to deal with you anymore they're not going to tell you that you think most people are not going to say oh i don't like the way you're treating me i don't like i don't like your personality but when you leave that house that's when the truth kicks in all right and sometimes you would never know that so i know that the way i treat my clients is uh you know it is good because of the feedback the certain things they put in my reviews um they they refer me um if i post a video especially on facebook or tiktok or social you know they, they'll say comments oh courtney is an amazing person he's such a great guy you know those are the things that matter the most you know you can be the best at whatever but if you have a bad attitude if you have a bad personality most people are not going to work with you or willing to work with you. Most people are just not going to want to deal with you. And that's why I tell a lot of guys who are in the service industry, if you're a person and you have no personality, I talk to so many guys, man, and it's like they're just so dry. Like, dude, where, again, like, where is your, what, you don't have no personality? Hey, what's up, Courtney? Yeah, man, just, yeah, just out here, just, yeah, yeah, we just out here working. I'm thinking to myself, if you talk to me like that, I can just imagine how you talk to your clients, you know, and that's people like they just feel like you don't want to be bothered. 
you know, I've had a client tell me before, Courtney, I had a guy come and do some service for me. And he just, he almost, it almost seemed like he didn't want to be here. Okay. So when someone picks that up, what do you think they're going to tell them? If, 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 he, if he's so out of tune with what he's doing, that means he's not going to give me a great job. Okay. I have clients that say, Courtney, I try to, you know, I try to talk to them and they act like they don't want. And, and I've heard guys say this. Oh, cool. When I just go away, I just want to do my job. I don't want to talk to them. Dude, you do not realize it is a privilege for someone to let you in their home because they didn't have to hire you. They didn't have to use your services. This is why I make sure I communicate with my clients. I make my clients feel comfortable. I make my clients feel like I, I want to be there, okay? That goes a whole lot further than everything else. But when the client doesn't pick that up from you, guys, that's not good. That is not good. So um, I just want to, you know, Courtney, you know, uh, I've been getting a lot of good feedback from uh, doing my business tips of the days. And I'm going to keep bringing them. I used to do these a long time ago, tips of the days and uh, carpet cleaning. But these are the things that really matter, you know, not the screening and the hardwood and the carpet cleaning. What really matters is, is, is the things that come before that. OK, how, how do people I have clients have told me, Courtney, I call them. It's just like even on the phone. They just they're just dry. Feel like 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 they, they don't even want to work, you know? And and again, I can understand that because I dealt with it. And you have to remember this, guys. You have to remember this quote. I might not say it the way it, it, it was quoted, but people like to do business with people they like and trust. Okay, something like that. I think Zig Zagler, somebody said that quote, but that is so true. People buy from people they like, right? When I go buy a car, when I go out to eat, when I anywhere, because we, we are all consumers, we're all buyers. I can be won over most of the time by people I just like. I just wanna give this person my business, okay? Because I just feel like they're just gonna treat me right, all right? That's why me personally, I'm not a, well, I ain't gonna say I'm, everybody's a price shopper, but I'm not a person that's looking, I don't look for the cheapest price. All right, now my wife, she's kind of getting out of that because every time she goes with the cheapest price, it's always a problem. <laughs> and I'll be telling her, you gotta stop doing that, all right? Get paid for people for what they're worth and also pay people who are gonna treat you right. All right, guys, I'm about to head home. Uh, tomorrow, I have a few in-home consultations. Um, and next week, man, oh my God, next week, we've already got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eleven. We already got 11 hardwood floor screen or re, uh, maintenance screen or recoats and a few wax removals next week. So, yes, it's going into that busy season. All right, guys, thanks again for watching. See you in the next one.